The Danville Police Department has released the names of three officers involved in a shooting with a man who claimed that he was armed and suicidal. The man who received gunshot injuries was also identified by the police department. Now, the shooting involved the officers and the man. It occurred on Wednesday, January the 17th in the 500 block of Apollo Avenue. Shortly after 4 o'clock that afternoon, Danville police officers were dispatched to the area of Apollo Avenue to the report of a suspicious male who was possibly armed and was described as a former employee of a business that was located on nearby Riverside Drive. Officers located the man just off of Apollo Avenue in the parking lot of the Westwood Middle School. Well, according to the police department, for at least 25 minutes, officers attempted to negotiate with the man who claimed that he was armed and suicidal. The police department said that during de-escalation attempts, the man then drew a handgun from his waistband and officers gave him commands to drop it. Well, the man reportedly fired the gun in a direction away from the officers before turning it and pointing it at them. Officers then discharged their weapons, striking the man. The officers immediately began rendering first aid and then called for EMS support. The man was transported to Sova Health, which is the hospital in Danville, Virginia. Now, the man involved in the shooting incident was identified by the Danville Police Department as 24-year-old Nicholas Bedu. Bedu, who is from Danville, Virginia, was transported to a, another medical facility, and that was to receive further treatment. And he was listed in stable condition. The officers involved in the shooting all serve in the northwest quarter of the patrol division for the Danville Police Department. The three were identified by police as 21-year veteran Sergeant Clarence Goins, five-year veteran Officer Seth Parker, and two-year veteran Officer Nicholas Smithers. All three officers are on administrative leave, and that's pending an investigation from the Virginia State Police. On the day that the shooting occurred, the Danville Public Schools were closed for inclement weather. No children or school employees were present on school property.